Francisco, that is Translator, doing Everywhere That I'm Not. That's here on MTV, which is where I am. I'm Martha Quinn, and I've got some music news. Rod Stewart's Body Wishes is the number one album in Spain, and Rod is making his first tour of that country in a big way by playing in bullfight arenas. His first show was in the sold-out Plaza de Toros in Valencia, where Rod actually had to pass a pen full of bulls to get from the dressing room to the stage. Rod is also playing shows in Barcelona, San Sebastian, and Madrid before heading off to Portugal. I should mention that for the Madrid show, this is an exclusive. Our MTV cameras will be there, and you can count on seeing that show a little later on. By the way, we reported about a stomach virus that Rod had and caused him to cancel some concerts in Italy. Well, he has completely recovered. A couple of anniversaries in the news today. First up, one of Rock's first supergroups formed 17 years ago this week. I'm talking about Cream. This was the union of Eric Clapton, Jack Bruce, and Ginger Baker. Jack Bruce has done a lot of recording since Cream with Robin Trower, Eric Clapton out on the road on his own, and Ginger Baker has been living in Italy for a while and putting together a band as well. And this is also a date for Loggins and Messina. They split up seven years ago today after six years of hit making. Hits like House of Pooh Corner, Angry Eyes, Valivala, Your Mama Don't Dance, Danny Song, so many great Loggins and Messina's tunes. It's almost a shame that they broke up, and recently Kenny Loggins explained to us how he and Jim Messina broke up. I felt I was moving in one direction, he was moving in another direction, and, and it didn't feel like uh, we belonged together anymore musically, so we said, now's the time, let's do it before. You see, Jimmy had been through, I had, well, we'll just get into this real quickly. Jimmy had been through two major breakups. He'd been through the breakup of Buffalo Springfield, and he'd seen how bitter and bad that can get. And he'd been through his own little thing with Poco. I don't mean to demean that. I mean his own life's thing with Poco. And he'd seen, and again, it, I was lucky to be with Jimmy Messina because it was his experience that he saw when it stopped being musically compatible. He said, let's stop now, because if we continue and we force this thing, we'll end up the way they ended up. We'll end up hating each other or fighting all the time. He says, there's no need for that. So it was his experience, I think, that brought it to a head, and we talked about it, and he said, let's do it. The last and I, album, I was yeah. really glad, because I was really very, very ready. I was excited to go solo. It was a major change in my life on all lev levels at that time. Kenny Loggins has had quite an illustrious solo career. We haven't heard quite so much from Jim Messina, but he is at work right now on a second solo album. Okay, right here I've got concert information. This for one of the original Whalers, along with Bob Marley. Peter Tosh is out on the road, and you can see him in Houston, Texas, in New Orleans, and in Seattle, Washington. Peter Tosh in Santa Cruz, Santa Barbara, and Los Angeles a couple of nights at the Greek Theater. Coming up in the news, I have a story about David Bowie and a whole lot more. And of course, you can count on some video this Saturday afternoon, so hang around.